Hello Bamboo Lab 3D printer users and hello Bamboo Studio users. Today I'm going to talk to you about overhangs, specifically how to visualize overhang. Those of you moving from Cura to Bamboo Studio are used to having your support angle threshold shown to you via these red highlighted areas. These highlighted areas represent the angle threshold that you have told your slicer requires supports. Currently, it's set to 42. For example, if I wanted more supports, I would lower this angle to say 35, and you will see the highlighted area has now changed to represent 35. If I wanted less supports, I'd go to a higher angle that requires supports, say 55, say 65. And now you'll see even less highlighted area showing only those at 65 or greater. Those of you switching over to Bamboo Studio will be surprised to learn you cannot visualize your overhangs. This is super confusing because you want to understand what your setting is doing and how it's affecting the model. Say you set it at 35. Well, what does 35 represent on this model? Previously, in earlier versions of Bamboo Studio, you'd have to slice the model to see where the supports go or switch to a different visual mode such as support painting, where you'll notice those highlighted support sections suddenly appear. Well, in a recent update for Bamboo Studio, they have added visual support overhangs. However, you may have gotten the latest version of Bamboo Studio and noticed you still don't see your support overhangs highlighted. That's because they are not showing by default. In order to visualize your support overhangs by default in all views in Bamboo Studio, Simply go over here next to file, click on the arrow, click on view, and scroll down to show overhang. Click on that, and look at that, your overhangs are now visual. Now you can see where Bamboo Studio intends to put your supports based on the angle you chose. Keep in mind, things are opposite in Bamboo Studio from Cura. For example, in Cura, a higher number equals less supports. In Bamboo Studio, a lower number equals less supports. So if we want to increase the amount of supports that Bamboo Studio is using, we go ahead and increase this number. We'll say 40, and you'll see now that it has added supports to even smaller angles. If you want less supports, you go down to say 20, and now it tells Bamboo Studio that only more drastic angles need supports. This is super helpful in printing complicated items such as this, where you as the user want to be in control a little more than allowing Bamboo Studio or even Cura to make the decisions for you. What do I mean by that? Here is a ghost face mask. Imagine, if you will, your printer having to print a support from the ground all the way up to this little tiny support right here. Previously, when highlighted overhangs were not turned on, you would have to guess where these supports are going and you might not even know it's adding it there until you slice the plate. Now, you can see ahead of time where those overhangs are and you can make the decision that you know better than Bamboo Studio and the printer does not need to apply a support on this tiny little overhang Therefore, you can go ahead and paint block it in Bamboo Studio by choosing Paint Blocker, right-clicking and painting red over that overhang. Now, when you slice this model, you will see that it does not apply a support there, which will save you tons of time and even potential failure in having that support knocked over. There you have it. This is what your supports now look like. Having not painted over that highlighted overhang, you will see that Bamboo Studio wants to build this giant tree support all the way up here just to attach to this tiny little point that you know darn well your printer can handle without supports. Also, look where it is. It's behind the model and underneath a lip. Therefore, even if it wasn't 100% perfectly clean, it's out of sight and you wouldn't really care. So this is why it's very important that support overhangs be turned on when working in any slicer. 
This model is not too complicated. Sometimes you'll be working with models that have tons of overhangs, many of which you can go through and have a look and turn them off with support blockers or simply adjust your threshold angle to turn some of them on and off to get something that looks more acceptable to you. Without these overhangs turned on, it's an awful lot of guesswork and re-slicing and re-slicing, and it's not something you're going to want to be doing on a regular basis. So go ahead, click on View, click on Show Overhang, and start working with your overhangs visible from the start, right now, and never go back. Hey.